telling him, man, I'm fucking they start doing that shit. I was telling him, I was like, on the bike, so I was like, can I get, what, what, what are we talking about? Yeah. Did I get in trouble for buying bikes out of Walmart, Kmart, whatever, and reselling them as my own? As long as their labels aren't displayed on it, I don't think I could ever get in trouble. As long as the only thing that's on there is a serial number, he shouldn't be able to get in trouble. I should be able to resale that for my own, I would think. I mean, they do it at yard sales. Yeah, so what's the difference? But. I'll tell, I'll tell you. There's you see. I'll tell you a good way to get around it. Buy them direct. Well, bad, but another way, put a link to their website on our website. Website. Why would I know why? That? Because they because could give you money page. for every time that somebody clicks on their link or from their web page. One. Yeah, that's for basically free. what you'd be doing. Well, it's from the link is basically. Well, yeah. And you know what else? I was telling him, wouldn't it be cool if I could find the ones I like, find out where they're made on it, and just order, instead of having them all painted and decaled up, just send them to me chrome so I can paint them immediately? You know what I mean? And another thing, another Try idea that paint I gave them, them. You get a counterweight up front. You get a contract that's you, that's not me, I don't do such matters. Counterweight up front. That's the business things. management. No, 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 I'm talking about getting a contract with the manufacturer. That's what I'm saying, but once we get into it, that's out of my hand. I don't do such things, I'll turn that over. Drew just does the labor, labor work. In the legal department? No, you feel the we don't do that until we got something I'm going. The, I'm the internet geek. I'm not the yeah, internet. but you're Nick Burns, my company's computer guy. Move! <laughs> what does that have to do with manufacturing? Shh! Manufacturing, warehousing, you know, that's all the... And what else was the other good idea that I said, besides the counterweight? The counterweight's really good, I like that. Counterweight. Pegs are necessary. Up front. Like because how many times when he's doing jumps, the bike wants to come back? Yeah, you know what I was thinking about? I came up one day and filled the forks with concrete. Not don't that, you cap it. Don't you just want to make the bike lighter? Yeah, but these things are, I mean, if they're, they're going to be so adults on it. I mean, remember my spinal? <laughs> right. Dude, if, you, if we could have seen that on film. I, I have something coming to mind though. Uh, a toddler bike shop. See, well, I, I was thinking I was thinking something along those lines. That's all, dude, that's everything. They're not just those. They're everything. They're all minis. I'm not doing big ones. See, that's Unless I do it, I'll do a I'll do a side wing with them, restorations and anything custom actually. If someone wants a bike, oh that's how I'm getting out of getting in trouble for the bike with her. I was like, do you want a mountain bike replacement? She was like, I don't know. I said, I'll build you a custom bike instead if you want. Or I looked in the trading post today at 7-Eleven and Free Red. I get her a new giant for 100 bucks and Mike's one for two. I was like, that, you can do that or I'll build you a fucking bike of your dreams. She was like, well, think about that. That's a hell, dude. Where's my bike? I was like, fuck, I wanted this to be a better time to tell her this. See, I knew about the bike, the yo. Brought back here, but was, that was a stolen bike. You got no, but hers got clipped. Back. Hers got fucking shot. Yeah, I see. I didn't know. Dude, I, yeah, I didn't either. We went I down the next talking about the, Yeah, uh, we went down. We went I down, rode them on went bars down the next, the next morning. day to go get it. Right. Early too. Yeah, it was like eight thirty on, and it was gone. So I started asking Eric. I was like, dude, is that shit happening? He's like, dude, I've seen them stolen cops standing there. It's like what? He's like, yeah, people just come up. And stupid. Well, I'm like, well, shit. He's like, yeah, they don't care. Cops don't care, they're not going to stop They're me. more worried about people with fighting containers and shit, which they catch five or six a day. Yeah, but isn't that bullshit? I was like, he said, dude, he said, since BMX bikes had their unlocked for five days, they finally were like, fuck it, and somebody in Chicho spray painted it, fuck with the kid, <laughs> and left it out for another two days, the kid didn't come get it, they signed the fire, and said, fuck it, and pulled it back in, pulled it inside, and took it in the kitchen, in the back. The kid comes down, like, Three days after that, so rare. So by the time it came out, it was like ten days. Which ten days on an unlocked bike? Dude. That's amazing, down. Well, not just amazing. I mean, you're out, dude. That's fucking. That's your own rights, stupidity, right? you know. <laughs> so he comes in. He's like, what? You know, what happened to it? And Eric was like, oh, dude, playing all stupid. He's like, I don't know. I think somebody spray painted it. God, I wish I could have seen the kid's face when he said that. So they brought it back out. He's like, yeah, that's mine. The kid ended up calling the cops and the whole staff of Chicho's. The guy oh, accused of somebody of like stealing. He was like. If we would have stolen the bike, it would be at one of our houses, you dumb motherfucker. Nothing happened. You know, the kid was just, the cop was like, and you left her here for how long? Take your bike and be on with yourself, you know yeah, what I mean? You're thanking somebody. So that yeah, just, dude, I've had so many bikes stolen, man. God, I mean, hers, and then, it's not that big a deal. Thank God it wasn't, like, the mom's bike. The left bike should have been hers. I wouldn't, I'd move out, dude. I don't think it would be still that good. Bullshit. 
You're right, it wouldn't be as attractive as a giant. Plus, well, yeah, because like people but don't if really you start it, like, no, if you start bike it, thieves, so, well, I don't no, know. No, they, they might. might. They How might. many professional bike thieves are there? You know, not here, just, New York well, City. Good yeah, God. Well, they're still in bikes for crack. You know, train up for crack. That's why they're still in bikes. You know, the best bike I ever bought. I think I told him this one day. I didn't tell you I lived at that shitty trailer park on the front corner of Birdneck and 17th Street. Oh. No, not Pelham. The Trust, shittier one. Trust City. The death one. Uh, yeah. Trailer City. Trailer City, is that what it's called? Buying Easy Mart. Dude, I used to go in there by crack. I oh, it's still there. Yeah, yeah, it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. They're going to knock it down the other one. Yeah. Triangle. Whatever. Yeah, that one. Yeah. But the it has a, it's a parking lot for boats. And, uh, and they don't even use it. Would you put your bar, fuck, fucking butt fuck? No, I wouldn't put anything of value in that motherfucker. Anyway, I lived there. And what were we talking about?